Oh, look at that. Huge piece of beef liver going out. Double hook rig to keep it all together. Increase our chance of a hookup. That is a nasty, nasty looking bait. I can tell you there's a lot of fish that want this. I'm gonna throw it in the current of that spillway so it gets carried. I don't have to rip the bait apart casting real hard. A lot of fish down there that would eat beef liver. Catfish, obviously, number one suspect. If we get a bite, that's probably what it's gonna be. But big gar, um, all kinds of weird things like drum. I've had drum take liver and different types of raw chickeny baits. Even if that bait stops right there, the current will take the scent downstream. Oh, oh, float went under. Float went under, and look, line's getting pulled out. Fish is moving to the left. Look at that, there he goes. All right, let's hit this. Yep, fish on, feels like a catfish. Oh. I think an alligator gar, yeah, an alligator gar would have hit way harder. This is probably a, a modest, a modest catfish. Yeah, he's starting to turn. Yep, there he is. No surprise there. Can always count on these guys when it's cold. <sighs> there we go, hooks out. Not bad, not bad. Decent little catfish. Decent little catfish. Let's get him back. Oh, turn around. There he goes. That's cool, the water's so clear you can see him. All right, let's get some more liver on our double hook rig here. Get it back out there. Oh yeah. Thing that makes this spot so unique is this outflow right here. So much water just pouring down. It's constant. I've never seen it not run like this. It's coming directly from a, a plant. So it's not like a dam spillway where you have food coming down. But what you do have is you do have a steady stream of water at a steady temperature going into water that may be hot or cold. And then you've got this massive force carving out features on the bottom and creating massive eddies that catch food and keep it here. Fish on, fish on, good fish. This one's a good one, another good one. Feels like a catfish again. Yeah, very weird fight they do, where they hit like a ton of bricks, and then suddenly they, they loosen up and they hit again, and that's them spinning. Yeah, and you can tell the line is moving in a a circle as you pull it in. There he is. He's he's decent. He's not huge, but he's nice. It's good to see fish. In cold weather, you in cold weather it's just nice to see fish. There he is, yeah. Not a monster. Got on par with the other one. Very nice. 
There we go. That was not meant to happen that way. I was trying to show him to the camera and he got out of my hands. So I just kind of pushed him so he didn't land on the rocks. Not very graceful, but he never touched the land. So that's, that's good at least. That's what we're working with. Just beef liver. Normally I will obsessively make sure the hook points are showing incredibly well, but with liver, the liver will fall apart so fast. The hook will move right through it. So setting the hook through liver is quite easy. Oh, oh, this is a much better fish. Yep. Oh, that's a good one. Yes. Better fish on. For at least it hit like a better fish. Oh. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Yes, that's a darn good fish. It was taking me a moment to identify the size of it, but that's a very nice catfish. Let me get the, the grippers up. Or actually, you know what, hang on a second. Just use my glove here. You gotta be careful, they'll cut your hands up a little bit. And sometimes, especially near these outflows, these wastewater treatment plants and whatnot, uh, you get cuts in your hands from a fish like that and you get nasty infections. It's happened to me before and it will put you out of commission if it gets bad enough. This is a nice one. Oh, come here, buddy. I'm trying to get my hand in his mouth. I know, buddy. There we go. Get some energized. That's a nice fish, yeah? That shadow from that tree is in the way a little bit annoying, but that's a very nice, very nice catfish. Very loud catfish too, but quite pleased with the size of that. falling over the place. Great fish. Wow. So nice to see a catfish like that. I've been told by people that I used to work with um, that uh, like one of my stress ticks or like, like emotional ticks is I run my hands through my hair constantly while I talk. And I've noticed that on camera over the years as I go back and I review footage that I'm like constantly doing this after every fish. Also, I'm trying to make my hair not look insane. But sometimes it gets annoying because you catch a big fish like that and you just, without thinking about it, you start doing that. And then suddenly you have like catfish slime drying in your hair.